welcome to my channel this is take a breath with alexis and i'm alexis and this is episode three of my disney lookbook series now before we dive into that i just want to take a moment and say thank you to each and every one of my subscribers i finally broke through and hit that 100 subscriber goal y'all let me tell you the day that I got the alert that I hit 100 subscribers, I was actually contemplating like, should I keep doing this? I was just thinking to myself like, do people actually like my videos? Like, I don't know if I should keep doing it. And then I literally like an hour later got the notification that I hit 100 subscribers, which was just like a sign to me to keep on pushing, to keep doing what you're doing. So thank you so much y'all for subscribing. It really means a lot to me for your support and encouragement. We're only just getting started. I'm promising you I am going to work better and harder to give y'all the best content that I can. But with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, so as y'all know, I've been doing a Disney bound lookbook series. So far, I have done Mickey, Shelly Mae, and then last week I gave you a hint that this person is from Arendelle. Can you guess who it is? Hint. Her sister is Elsa. It's Anna. I don't know about y'all, but when Frozen came out, I absolutely loved it. But then like about six to nine months after Frozen came out and there was, we were still in like the midst of Frozen fever, I was kind of like, this is too much. But I still love Frozen. I love the story about two sisters. And how can you not love Olaf? Like literally, personally, I think he kind of steals the show. So today's look is going to be an Anna look. Um, and I did something a little different than I've done in my other videos. I actually did a mini tutorial on how I created this Anna inspired makeup look, which it doesn't look very Anna now, but once I have the whole thing together, it will look Anna. It's very Anna inspired, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and let Makeup Alexis take over from here. Hey y'all, it's me Makeup Alexis and I'm here to do an Anna inspired makeup look. I will be using the ColourPop Frozen 2 Anna palette to create this look. So for the transition shade, I'm going to use this color Fearless. And that's gonna be my transition shade and I'm using this fluffy tapered brush to do it. So I like to tap the color on the outer corner of my eye and then blend inwards towards the inner corner. And I use kind of like a windshield wiper movement to achieve that. I will say that this color is a little bit lighter than I would normally use for a transition shade, but it was really easy to like build the color. So it was an easy thing to fix. And so after I've done that, I take this clean, random, fluffy brush and I just kind of blend out the edges. I'm distracted because I'm actually watching an episode of Hoarders. It's the one with the lady with like a thousand chickens. Anyway, back to the tutorial. So I'm taking this smaller tapered brush and I'm going to use this dark brown color called Charades and I'm going to use that to deepen the crease color and again I'm tapping it on the outer edge of my eye and I am blending inwards towards the inner corner. The only difference is that I try to concentrate the color on the outside and I only blend about halfway across my eye. Again with this brush I just blend everything together so it looks more flawless. So with this flat brush, I am going to use the color Warm Hugs. Oh, what a sweet name. Warm Hugs, that's gonna be my lid color. And I am going to tap slash sweep this on my eyelid. I know that's weird, but I kind of go in between, like here I'm tapping and then I'll start, I'll sweep a little bit. It's a combination to get the desired look that I want. Um, I decided to settle on more of a matte look for Anna because it just seemed 
it just felt right. <laughs> so that's the eyeshadow look at this point. To me, it looked really purple, but we're just gonna keep on trucking. So next, I'm gonna take a smudge brush and go back into charades, and I'm going to use that to uh, line and kind of smoke out my bottom lash line. I do want to put a pointer out here that be you should be really gentle when you're doing this because if you go in heavy handed you're gonna have like really dark under eyes and I mean unless you're going for that I'm not but that's just my two cents. So the eyeshadow look is done. Um, I have to put mascara, lashes, and liner on. I'm gonna do that all off camera so you guys don't see me mess up. And just like that, with editing magic, everything is pulled together. Now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't look as purple as I thought. So for blush, I am going to use the ColourPop Kissing a Frog blush. And I am just going to use my cheek brush and stipple that onto them cheeks. Just like that. Still distracted by hoarders. Okay, um, for highlight, I am using my favorite highlight of the moment in the color Synthetica. It's by NYX. I am using my kind of dirty highlight brush, if I'm being honest, and I'm just gonna sweep that kind of on top of my blush and on top of my cheekbones, and we're just gonna highlight to the heavens, y'all. And then once you get your desired effect, I like to tap my nose with some highlight and I also like to highlight the inner corner and highlight my brow bone because I feel like it ties everything together it looks real professional that way for lipstick I'm using the lipstick that came in the collection it is called going <laughs> what did I say going north it is a cream Lipstick has a satin finish, and I freaking love this color. Oh my gosh. It's like one of my favorite lipsticks I've gotten. I love this lipstick. I don't even have to use a lip liner with this lipstick. I think it looks good on everybody. Oh, I just can't say how much I love this lipstick. See, look at it. Look. Is that not stunning? Oh my god. I love this lipstick. And then to top it off, I'm going to use this lip gloss in the color free spirit and I'm just gonna tap on a little bit so that my lips can pop just a little bit to set everything I am using the urban decay up all nighter setting spray yeah I'm so distracted by orders um, but I'm gonna spray it so I can set it and forget it y'all and that is it this is the complete Anna inspired look I actually think it came together really nicely and it seems really fitting for like Anna but anyway back to you Alexis all right so that's how I achieved this Anna inspired look using the Anna eyeshadow palette and now let's get into the dress that I am wearing or gonna wear <clears throat> so the dress that I wore is this dress that I was sent from of course vintage inspired by Jackie I will put a link to this dress in the description box below. Um, this dress is actually a little bit shorter than the other dresses, but it's still like super cute. It's an A-line dress, which <laughs> I think ever since working with Jackie, like A-lines have become like my favorite cut of dresses because the fact that it like perfectly hits you at your waist and then poofs out and makes your waist look so small so it just has a plain kind of this green skirt it's plain i haven't pressed it yet but it, it will be pressed um it just has a nice zipper in the back there is one pocket over here which jackie puts one pocket in everything it has this very anna inspired um vinyl design here that is very Scandinavian. This dress is supposed to um, mimic Anna's ballroom dress. So, and I think it does it like exactly right. And it also has this gold trim right at the top. The top is kind of a sweetheart. And it has these sleeves which actually fall off of the shoulder. Um, there is some boning in the dress part. 
um, not the dress part. There is some boning in the bodice, but not as much boning as the Mickey dress. So I personally would wear a bra with this. Um, but yeah, this is the dress. It's super cute. Um, I will put a link down below. All right, so this is the dress. And in the next clip, I'm gonna go ahead and model you this for you and show the little um, accessories that I use to kind of spice up the dress. So go ahead, modeling Alexis. Okay, so this is the Anna-inspired Coronation Day dress. It is just so adorable, y'all, and well made. I added a petticoat underneath just to add to the fullness, and I kept my accessories pretty simple because Anna seems like a simple kind of girl. Like, she's more concerned about chocolate than do, not a clutch. <laughs> Alright y'all, that is it for the video this week. I know that I have been saying this in all my videos, but I genuinely have had so much fun putting these outfits together. And it's really easy when you get given dresses that are absolutely stunning. With all that being said, I, I love Disney bounding. It's really fun for me and I hope you guys are enjoying the series thus far. Next week is going to be the last episode in this series. Ooh, I know, but we're gonna go out with a bang. So make sure you stay tuned. And for next week, I'm actually gonna give you two hints, okay? Hint number one, they are from a galaxy far, far away. Hit number two, they may or may not be human. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that is it. Thank you so much for sticking here to the end. If you haven't done so already and you've liked what you've seen thus far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free and you will get to see awesome videos like this every Friday. Also, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this if you've enjoyed the Disney Bound series so far. And yeah, so that is it. I will see y'all in my next one. Bye!